Hi everybody, I'm Frank. Welcome to my shop. In this video, I will do the unboxing of my new Prusa MK3S. Let's get rolling. Okay, after two years of 3D printing, learning, teaching, designing, I decided it was time for me to get the printer I wanted in the beginning and worked hard to get to this. It's not cheap and in my opinion, it's the best printer in its class with many features that I will enjoy working with in the near future. I just bought this printer today. It came as a kit and I bought it in a local store in Montreal, Canada called Voxel Factory. They are one of the only distributors of Prusa printer. They only have the kit version. They have parts needed for repairs and they also offer warranty support in-house. And it's less of a hassle than having to deal with customs when buying directly from Prusa. It was even faster in my case because it's local. But that's enough of me speaking about it. Let's unbox this baby. I am so excited. Let's get to this. Okay, let's bring you closer. Here it is. Some, some air from Prusa. Mmm, smell nice. Congratulations. Complete driver package. Everything you need to get working. Manufactures the 20th of August 2000, 2019. Oh, nice. A testing report. Heating, heating bed measuring measurements, hot hand measurements up to 250. Wow. And some other tests, fan speed. Nice. And then the, <laughs> the assembly manual. Wow. Quite as extensive. Oh, stickers. Yes. I like stickers. The, the kit includes a nose plier, Phillips screwdriver, Allen key six times, and a lubricant. Label guide. All the boxes and bags, including parts for the build, are labeled, numbered, and the header tells you which chapter you will need that bag or, or, or box. Okay. So chapter two, chapter three. Okay. A printing handbook. Nice. Mesh bed leveling. Nozzle size and printing time. Wow. Cool. Oh, this is one, one of the boxes they are talking about. So. That's for chapter two. That's the power supply. The power cord. Nice. And then, oh, Aribo goodies. Pocket size. Let's try it. If I can open it. So, some gummy bears. Mmm, mmm, nice. MK3S fasteners. So it's all boxed. MK3S plastic set orange, orange. A full roll. One kilo of Netto Prusa filament. Those are probably uh, rods. Yeah really nicely packed and then this is motors and of course the bed yep let's dive into this nice wow it's large yeah smaller inside diameter but and it, it's, it looks really really nice silver yeah it's silver ah 
the motor kit. Oh yeah, they use a, a Z-axis with the lead screw in the motor. That's nice. It's more expensive, but it's really nice. It seems to be really straight. And it even says X-axis, Y-axis, and extruder left and right because of the length of the cables. That's why they are identified, I think. Fasteners, okay, zip ties, the nice kit. Step nine, spares. Okay, those are spares. And even as a spare magnet, from what I can see. Wow. Spare tubing for the E3D. Connection for step seven, seven, yeah. Heated bed and PSU. This is the extruder, yeah. Z axis, axis, X axis with the linear bearings. Y axis, same thing. The belt. Some, I don't know what's that. Feet? I don't know. We'll see. Oh! Uh, <laughs> it's not in English. It's not in French. I suppose it's for... It's some glue. For the bed, I suppose. The LCD. Let's take a look. And... Oh, 16 gigs card, even. Good RAM, good RAM. Okay. The USB cable, Prusa lubricant. <laughs> uh, funny. <laughs> oh, the board, oh, it's small. Look at that thing. It's a small little thing. It fuses, it's nice. Even more protection. You never have enough. What's this? Oh, cleaning towel and a small thing to unplug the nozzle. Extruder box, fans, a sticker, E3D. E3D extruder. Nice. The Pinda probe. That that's one thing that I want to use. And the oh, that's the sensor for the filament, I think. Oh, that's for a, that's a nylon kind of filament, but it's for um, for the cables to give some rigidity to the hot end cables. Good. Uh, Will I be able to put back everything? I don't know. Good. Then, plastic parts. Oh, nice finish. Oh, it's the new bed with the texture. Yeah, the print. On, they print the Prusa parts on the Prusa, of course. So that's the y-axis. X-axis, nicely done. Z-axis, the screen. E-axis, spool holder. That's not printed, that's molded plastic, molded, molded ABS. And then ELE. Oh, it's the uh, electronic case. And you have a space for um, Raspberry Pi Zero. This should be the bed and the sheet. Oh, it's the frame too. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I was missing the frame. So that's the metal sheet. And the actual bed with a bunch of magnets. 
Ah. And it helps to align everything. Those small dots are pre precisely positioned. And the bed frame, the main body frame. And in this we have, oh, the sleeve for the cables and all of the rods. And this is the Y-axis. This is the plates. Nice finish too. Kind of a metal black. And the two, well, no, four. Four 30 by 30, I think. Or 25, not sure. 30. And more Ariba <laughs> for me. Mm -hmm. And the power supply. Delta Electronics Inc. 24 volts, 240 watts with power and switch. I bet this saves on cost. And it's nicer too. And that's it for me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, send me comments and suggestions for future videos. Now I will have to do more videos about assembling this printer. See you in the next video. Ciao, bye.